Hello everyone, welcome to this next lecture on the CSNX Mathematics. Today we will discuss the some questions related to the numerical analysis with the shortcut tricks. So let's start with this one. So the first question is related to the numerical integration formula and you have to find the function f of x which is the most suitable form of here. Now if you, because it's very, it's, it's not an easy task because g is not given to you here. How you can find this function? So let's say if I say the function is of this, you can see that a plus bx is in each of the form. It means there is no need to check. Uh, it means the first option is definitely be a correct because if this is wrong, then all these other options are also be wrong. How you can see the other options are there. Now, if you look about this x square, so let's say firstly we can consider as a x square. We can substitute the value here. What is the integration of the x square from 1 to minus 1? It will be my what is that? This is x cube by 3, that is my uh, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3, that's my 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 is approximately equal to, if I consider g as also the f, this is nothing but my alpha square plus of alpha square. What is that? This is 2 by 3 because we need to, to be the exact. So the g should be approximately equal to the f of here. It will be 2 alpha square. What is that? Alpha square is 1 by 3. Is it alpha square is 1 by 3? You, if you have the alpha value, no. It means this option is cancel out. So once this is cancel out means everywhere x square is written, that option is cancel out. B option cancel out, C option cancel out. Now we can check for the x cube. If we take as x cube, the left hand side will be my x4 by 4. Integration from, uh, sorry, limit from minus 1 to 1 which will be a 0. So right hand side will be x cube. So it will be my alpha cube plus of minus alpha cube. So what is that? 0 is 0. That, that's a not. So we can compute for the x4. If we compute as x4, what is the integration of this will be? x5 by 5 g minus 1 to 1. So that is a 2 by 5 is alpha 4 plus alpha 4. So it means alpha 4 is my 1 by 5, which is a correct option. So it means the A and the D are the correct options. Look at the another one is there. Now this is the questions related to the Newton Raphson method. We have find the square root of the positive number means x square is alpha. That's there. So what is the Newton Raphson method is there? That is xn minus f upon f dash. So if you substitute the value here, this is x square minus alpha. Derivative is here. Now you can uh, simplify them. You can write like this way xn you can take is here plus alpha upon 2xn. What is that? This is half. I can take half as a common. This is the recurrence formula. Now the question arises all, all on the error. So error is defined like this manner. So what you can do is that I can subtract here. So this is my e n plus 1. So I can substitute the value here. This is xn plus alpha by xn minus of root alpha. So what you can do that I can take half is everywhere common. So I can take as a half common. This is my alpha by xn. Now it will be that twice of them. So I can take one as here, one as here. Now what is that? This part is nothing but my e of n. Now how you can do that? This is nothing but my alpha upon xn minus of this one. Now what is the remaining part is again you need the all are the epsilon so I can substitute the value of the xn here. So what is that? This is en plus alpha. What is the xn is? En plus of root alpha minus of here. So what is that? I can simplify them. So the denominator will definitely be here. So which one is the option? This option is cancelled out. This option is cancelled out. This option is cancelled out. This is the right option. You can simplify it if you want. If you take its LCM, so it will be EN. You can see that this, this is A minus B upon A plus B. This is here plus of this. So you can see that this is the right answer. Look at the another one is there. So which is related to the uh, equation rule are there. So this is the star equation is given to you. Consider the equation define it. So what is the property of the equations? So if I consider this as my phi, what is the convergence condition of the equation? So the derivative should be less than 1. So if I consider this as what is the derivative of this part? This is nothing but my here. 
it means this is this condition holds now consider that two distinct roots are here which one of the following is equivalent to them so what we can do is we can if i consider this as of my phi i will try to take the derivative and check whether it's a less than one or not what is that if if we consider as a part what is the phi is my half x k square minus of x i 1 square so what is the modulus of this x k 2 x k so what is that this is nothing but the mod x k which is still less than 1 are here it means this is equivalent to here this is the right option look about this one if i consider here what is the phi of this if you open this bracket what is that this is x k square plus x k x i 2 minus x i 1 minus of x i 1 x i 2 so if you take that derivative and take the modulus what will happen is it's my 2 is will be cancelled out uh, 2 is com common everywhere so it's my twice of this plus x i 2 minus x i 1 of here so it can be by the triangular inequality you can write like this way if you want 2 is outside plus half of x i 2 minus x i 1 this value is less than 1 that's fine but this value is not be less than 1 why because you can see the difference is my greater than 0 and so on. So it means this option is cancel out. Look what this one. So since x0 lies between here and x i2 is this one is there. So that's a very simple task are there. What you can take that you can take simply as a limit of this. What is that? This is my here. What is that mod of x i1 is less than 1. It means this is also the correct option. You can see that what is the difference between them is just change the value of the x2 as a negative of this. So, but here this is the limiting value. There is no problem about that. Again, you can take because this limit is independent of the xi2. So, this is also the correct statement. So, A, C and D are my correct options. Look at the last example are here. Now, again, this is a quadrature formula. You have to find the exact for the polynomial. But here in this case, they are not talking about the polynomial. If you look about the coefficients alpha, a, b, c, you can see that alpha is a constant value throughout. It means there is no need to find the value of alpha. b is also be the fixed value. So again, there is no need to find the value of b. So we need to find the value of a and c only. Here, is it given that which polynomial satisfied? It is not given. So we can take as the smallest one b. What is the smallest degree of the polynomial? a plus bx. So if I take, because there are the two unknown coefficients, so we must take as a two variables. So a and b. So firstly, I can simply take as a one plus x. So uh, firstly, I can take f of x is my one. What will happen if you substitute here? What is the integration of this left hand side is my half. What is that? This is nothing but my a plus, sorry, it's not b half, it's a two. Integration of the one is my one and x is my zero. So a, what is the f of zero is again b plus c what is the value of the b i can found that it's 8 by 9 so the a plus c is my 2 minus 8 by 9 18 10 by 9 now i can take as f of x is my x so if you substitute f of x is my x so what will happen this is x minus x square integration from this is the odd function 0 so this is x cube divided by 3 from minus 1 to 1 so minus 1 by 3 plus 1 uh, minus 1 by 3 so it's a minus of 2 by 3 f of x is this is my minus of a alpha b will be my 0 it's my c alpha now how you can solve them you can simply multiply this by alpha and add them so what will happen a will be cancelled out 2 c alpha is 10 by 9 alpha minus of 2 by 3 so c alpha we already know that root 3 by 5 and i need the value of the c so i can divide them it is my 5 by 9 minus 2 will be cancelled out is 1 by 3 of alpha so you can see the value of c is 5 by 9 is there 5 by 9 minus 1 by root 3 so 3 i can substitute the value of alpha as of this so it can be written as 5 by 3 so which one is the right option 5 by 9 root 5 this so this option is cancelled out how about this if i take as 5 by 9 common this is my 3 this is my 3 and this is my root 5 and root 3 are here so again this is the plus sign this will be the cancel out so this is also the right answer now look about that are they same yes if you multiply them you can see they are the same so a and the 4 1 and 4 are the right option of this 
so remember that you can simply take a simplest polynomial because it is not given and then try to solve that we will see some more questions on the uh, CSN net paper in our next class till then you can simply follow this link share this video with your friends thank you very much